Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm back inside of Power World and I'm looking for a place to put a base. Now, I want to build a proper breeding farm. Sadly, it's just turned to night time inside of game, but this is where I'm thinking. I found this by a giant castle ruins. Yeah, it's to the north area of the map and it's looking out towards the giant tree in the centre mass of the actual game. And it's just a beautiful flat location where I think I could easily put down a breeding farm or two. Yeah, I might have to make a little bit more of a, a level platform here. There is another beach over there that is slightly flatter, but I like the view from this one more so than over on the other beach. But anyway, let's bring up the old map and I'll show you roughly where I am. So it's, it's right over in this top coordinate over here. You can see all the sort of like relic area there. So if I just put a little marker here for now. Uh, marker X and I'm going to put another little house marker there and that's where I want to build my base now what I'm thinking is I need to get to a fast travel point and then I can dismantle my very first base I'm going to dismantle two bases and I'm going to make one base that takes the best elements of both of them and places it here okay right so if I hover above my first base and then if I press let, let's transfer there first let's go there because I'm wondering whether it does dismantle everything or whether it just dismantles bits. Let's just sleep so I can see what the fudge is going on. So, where's my... Where's my house? <laughs> so dark, I can't see my face in front of my face! Let's go in here. Lovely jobs. And let's have a little sleeps. Sweet! Nice. Okay, right. We're awake, located. Right, eh? So now let's go above this then. And let's see what happens. So if I go fast travel, and then if I press RB, which is this button here. Ah, here we go. Note structures not placed placeable outside a base would be disassembled. Some structures will not be disassembled and re remain. All powers at the base will be stored in your power box. Doing this will not cause any of your powers to disappear. Okay. Holy mackerel, it's raining bits. Okay, right, so there's still quite a lot that's been left behind. Including all the power beds. Right, I'm going to get over-encumbered rather quickly, aren't I? Alright, okay, so that's okay then. Right stick, let's disassemble these bits then. Ah. Uh, and disassemble. Am I... No. Okay. I'll disassemble all of these. Get all of our bits back. Oh, now I'm now I'm over encumbered. This is what I was worried about, people. Is I'm going to get over encumbered so bloody quickly. My fast travel point is up the top there. All right. Well, what can I? What can I chuck to one side for one second? Well, I probably don't need that. I can find loads of wood anyway, so let's just discard that. Yep. And I'm going to eat the bread. There you go, mate. Feed him. Right, so it's going to be a case of juggling stuff and moving stuff around. Fun times. I'll just go stick that down there. And then if I put that in the next slot over... I create... I'm sure I crafted a larger bag. Or maybe I didn't. Okay, right, there we go. Okay, so I can move around a little bit more now. At least I have got a fast travel point just up here. Let's go and put down our new base where I want to be. Build a few beds, the ones that I dismantled. And then I think we're going to be fairly all right to continue onwards. Okay, right, so fast travel. And nearish to where I want to be is just there. Out. You're going to get to see this in the daytime now, people. This is an amazing place. It's like a giant castle ruins. I mean, look at it. Freaking awesome. And where I want to build is just over this way. So we'll go there on foot just so you can take in the delights and sights. But there's quite a lot of places that I could build up here if I really wanted to. But I don't want too many trees. I don't want my pals to get distracted and start hacking down trees. Or else I would build along here. You know, along all this castle ruins. There's a cave over there that I want to go and explore a cave. It looks like an awesome dungeon. 
which would be freaking awesome, which is in close proximity. Also, I'm thinking if I do want to sort of level up my powers, all the, po the powers around this area are pretty tough. So hopefully fighting them is going to cause, you know, a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so what I was thinking is putting my PAL deck right in the middle of this. Would it let me? Ah, oh, dang it. Went and got rid of the wood, didn't I? Okay, here we go. Let's show, we only need eight wood. So we are. Let's just slap that. There was another location that I was thinking of doing that hasn't got any trees, actually. I, I don't really want... I don't want them to get distracted by trees. Hmm. Okay, there is another ba there is another beach over here that hasn't got so many trees, but the view isn't as lovely. But you know what? I want it to be practical, not lovely. So let's just jump across here and let's see if we can build the base over this side instead. Then people, I I'm I'm, in I'm indecided as yet. Let's get so let's glide across here. Ah, I got wet. Okay. And I think it's actually a little bit flatter here anyway. I mean, there are some rock piles. But that's not too bad. You see this beach area here? I'm just wondering whether it's going to give me enough area to build in. I don't think it is actually. It's quite small here, isn't it? Ah, I do know of another beach that I'm, I'm quite interested in. But I do like this area with the castle. I really do. Hmm, okay, well, let's have a quick look at the base radio, shall we? So if I was to stick it, say, here, that's kind of dead centre of where I want it to be. Let's give it a quick... Hmm. Ah, no, it's too small. It is too small. We're not going to build it there. I've got another place in mind, but the powers around there aren't good for levelling. Okay, so the other place I really like is the beach that's just south of this small settlement. So we're going to the small settlement, and I'll head south. I'll show you how to get there, people. It's pretty simple to do, to be honest. Just turn around, and we're heading south. I'm going this way. Sweet. And it's not too far, and it's, so, you know, you can sell your pals and all that sort of shenanigans. So it's, it's all good. Let's head on over this hill. It's just off the opposite side of here. It, you're sort of facing a giant sort of um, fossil in the sea, which is pretty darn cool. So here we go. You see this big flat beach down here? And I'm thinking facing out towards that whale-type head. Like, yes, just down here. I'm thinking about putting my um, actual base marker here. So all the powers that spawn around this area are quite weak. But, you know, we can fast travel and do hunting, so it's not a massive, massive problem. So I'm going to stick this near to this plinth thing here. i build it there. Now, if I get on my pat, I oh, look, you see where it's just dissected there? We've lost a lot of rooms. So let's just, let's just, let's just um, delete that. And if we move this way just a little bit and build it here instead. I wish it would show you the perimeter. Oh, there you go. You can sort of see it there. It's just moved it in a bit. And I think that's probably about the best point to put it about here. Okay. It's a shame you can't go into an airborne view so you can sort of see better of the perimeter. You can see there it just touches that rock. I'm, ha I'm okay with that. And then all the rest of it is all the way around here. It doesn't even touch those trees. That's what I was hoping for. It just touches that rock there. I can live with that. This is all good. This is all good. Cool. Sweet. Okay, right. So now I need to put in a ranch and I need to put in a breeding pen. So I need a lot more wood for that. But that's cool. I can just go and hack down a tree and we can do probably both of those. Be lovely. Sweet. And you know what? I could do all the building and then I could come back to you when I'm about to disassemble my second base, couldn't I? Ah, I'm over encumbered. Ah, I can only move like the speed of a snail. Snail! There you go, let's put this down then. And um, I'm going to put this right on the edge, if possible. I want it facing this way. Yeah, I'm going to put that 
Can I can I actually put it going just slightly out of my confines? I can. That's a bit interesting, isn't it? Yeah, about there. That's building right on the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. There we go. Put that there then. Sweet. I wonder how that's going to function though. Is it going to function okay? Is what I'm wondering, people inside the view of us. I might put down a couple of beds next to this and uh, see how we get on. Anyway, I'll reconvene in a bit. All right, okay, chums. Well, I've got two beds down. I've got the ranch down, a feeding box and a little storage container. Let's just go put down some ranch type pals in this sort of area here. So this is going to be a breeding farm eventually. So here we go, let's go to here. So some of these little chickens would be quite cool to put in there. So I could just put two of them in there for now, couldn't I? I'll go for the aggressive one. So a little ma male one. We've got a female one that's got fairly okay stats. Hooligan. Yeah, all right, we'll put her in there. There we go. So we've got two little chickens at the moment. Yeah, they've gone... Well, one of them's gone straight over to the ranch. Well, you haven't. The flying fudge is wrong with your AI, mate. Come on. There you go. You're going in there as well. I wonder if they will go outside the confines, though. I don't know whether they will. So that, does that mean everything that they amass is going to appear just in this little front section? Maybe I should move everything forwards and into the blue circle, people. I did wonder. I did wonder. Okay, chums, I've come back to my old breeding farm. And I've dismantled a load of the nice beds and replaced them with straw beds. I've still got a large bed there and a couple of nicer beds there. But um, I'm hopefully going to fast travel back to my other base. Look how slow I'm moving. But before I do that... I'm just going to grab a couple of pals out of here. So let's go into there. And I'm going to take one of these cows out of there. I'm just going to replace it with any old tat for now. There we go. Just so I can get some milk going at my old base. Well, my new base, I should say. So there's my new base there. And we're on our way. Of course. Awesome. It's looking quite good here now, people. I mean, I haven't put down a house or a bed for myself yet. But it's getting there, it's, it really is. It's starting to look pretty darn freaking nice, to be honest. Okay, right, so I need to stick down one of these larger beds. Hopefully I'll be able to start moving a little bit quicker once I've put down a bed or two. Need to get closer to here, I guess. Uh, where shall I put this bed? I'll put this bed in front of those three beds there. There we go, let's walk in like a slug in freaking taffy, people. Oh, fun times. Yeah, so you can see over here I've got like the little ranchy type of stuff, got some little farming area going on, then I've got a production area going on, and then I've got my first ranch there. I'm hoping to have maybe two ranches here, lots of incubators. I might even go for three ranches, depends on how I feel. There you go, let's build this, and hopefully I'll be able to move a little bit quicker. You know, it looks like um, my Anubis is a bit weakened. Darn it. That's a bit of a shame. Might have to build a medical bed and stuff like that. Oh, I need to put down an oasis. That's what I need to do. So back at my original base, there's not too much left here now. There's bits still left, but nothing that I'm going to miss if I did leave it behind all too much. I mean, I could pick up some of the, my benches, perhaps. Right, let's go into the old building mode. Might as well have that back. Have that. And that. Take that with me. Berry plantation. I've already got two berry plantations. I don't need another. But I'll take it anyway. Now I'm going to be over encumbered. Let's just stick a load of that wood in. Oh no! Wrong button. Okay, well, let's see if we can get all this stuff inside one of these boxes over here. So come out of this build menu. Let's just stick a load of stuff in here for a moment. There we go. I'm now not over encumbered. I can move around a bit. So I can go build those benches there. I don't think I've got enough room to build, to take away any of this yet. But it's just a case of going from base to base and base to base and teleporting backwards and forwards and doing it little bit by little bit. It's taken me forever and a day. Okay, chums, I think I definitely need that spa. So let's go and dismantle the spa here and take the spa over to... Um, where I need it really. Let's go and dismantle this one. I'll leave the little spa there but I'm going to take this big one for now. So here we go. Let's um, dismantle. 
Oh, fudge and heck, I'm well over encumbered. Right, well, it's going to take me a little while to walk all the way back and try to teleport. Now, the thing is, I don't want them to get too stuck, so I'm going to stick this over to this side over here. It's a little bit of a trek for them. Hopefully they're not going to get too stuck. I mean, look at that panda standing on top of that box to hit the trees. They do some right janky stuff in this game. Okay, and there we go. I've built a that for them. Lovely. That should help them de-stress a little. Uh, look, my bumblebee is still going at it and hitting the trees. You know, I might have to get rid of the old trees at some point because the bumblebees tend to get a little bit preoccupied with that rather than making their honey, which is the whole aim of this base. Is to be a breeding farm. But yeah, bit of a shame there isn't another sort of pal that gives you honey other than the bees. Because they're a pain in the backside the way that they go and work. You can assign them to the ranch and they just do their own thing. I mean, look at that one over there. He's planting at the moment as well. Hmm, fun times. It is what it is though, isn't it? Okay, chums, well I can go and get my flower up of here. And I'm fairly sure if I go over to my cook pot, I can make my first cake. Oh, I can indeedy doody. I can just make one, but that's all I need for now. There we go. And I've got one that does kindling. It's on its way. There we go. And it's kindling level two. Quite like that one, my little Firefox. Yeah, Wick Wixen. There you go. Lovely job, Blue. Pretty darn sweet. Uses magic. Using the force, I guess. Okay, chums, let's see if they've fixed the slanted roof issue. Oh, okay. It looks like they have fixed that inside of this patch. Well, that's good. That's a lot easier. Heck yes. Brilliant, eh? I was wondering if they were going to fix that, and they have. I am pretty happy with that. Uh, next off, let's see if we can just snap these into place then. Ah. Mm, no. That hasn't been fixed. So the way that you have to go around that is you have to get the wooden wall. Get the wooden wall, and then... Fit it all the way along where you want to put your roof, okay? So there we go. Put that all the way along that. Hopefully I'm not going to run out of blinking wood. And then choose your roof. And then it should, should attach higher up. Like there. And then you just rotate it round, like so. Boom. Okay. And then once you're happy, you've got all your roof in place. It's a case of going back out of your house. And then you delete all these bits up here. So you go back into the build camera. Disem dis disassemble mode. Be careful you don't delete your blanking roof. Around this way. Do the same again. And there we go. I've now got my own little house here, which is great. I keep it nice and simple. It, it, it's all it needs to be, to be honest. Let's get the bed in. There we go. So we go. And I should have enough for a swanky bed. Hold on. Why do I not have enough for a swanky bed? I need more cloth. All right, fine. Well, in that case, I will build my production desks first then. And I should have enough for a high quality workbench. I guess I do. I'll put the high quality workbench in this corner here, I think. Ah, that's around the wrong way, isn't it? Sneaky. Like so. I should be able to make cloth on there, and then I'll be able to make my swanky bed. Okay, now, over by the storage, what I think I'm going to do is get my little cooler box, and I'm going to stick my little cooler box right here, next to this. Is that around the right way? Freaking isn't. What's just going on with all the rotations? Okay, we'll stick this next to the cake box. And then what I'm thinking is if I put all the ingredients for cake making inside of that, then hopefully it's not going to go bad. So here we go, let's go on over here. Let's take all of this out. Bang, 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 bang. You know what? We can always disassemble that, that feed box. We don't overly need it there. And I'd um, fill this up with all the goodies... But I don't want to go bad. There we go. That doesn't go bad anyway, the honey, but you know. There we are. We've got all that in there. Lovely jubbly. Cool, yeah. And that's pretty much all the cake ingredients I need. Sweet. We'll get some more cakey stuff going on here in a second. 
Might as well get the palladium fragments up to the max. And go. Look at here. Get that going. And that's pretty much my day to day here now, people. I've got quite a lot of beds here. Uh, I've got 13 beds. I can have 15 pounds, so I just need to put two more beds down. I might put one nice big swanky bed and then you know, two little ones. Or maybe just two little ones. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's, it's, it's coming along quite nicely. We're now getting everything we need from here to make our cakes. And I'm going to put in another farm. Then I'm going to put in a little hatchery. So I'm going to have a little hatchery somewhere here as well. Got this one little bit going on over here. Obviously, I can't actually make much here. So is that, it's not not really much point in having this here, to be fair. Because I'm not really going to be making ingots. So you know what? I might get rid of this. Yeah. I, I put that at my um. I put that at my ingot farm. That make more sense, wouldn't it? I can just make charcoal there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is just going to be a breeding farm eventually, people. And it might give me wood and it might give me some rocks. Just some of the basic commodities. Hey, chums, I've spotted my very first shiny. Oh, he's only level three. Okay, let's try using a gigasphere on him. It says 100%. I just caught a shiny cativa. I guess I did. Hmm, cool, yeah. Okay, Jum, so the house is gone now. It's just a mechanical bit that I've got to get rid of. And also, I've got to empty every single one of these chests. So, here we go. Let's take all this out. And let's see how much that weighs me down. I still haven't used those magical fruits yet. Oh, there we go. Well, that wasn't too bad. Dismantle! Okay, let's go around here then. I'll leave that till later, because that's quite a lot of parts. A hundred ore there. Let's just smash these and see what happens when I try and pick it all up. This could get rather bad. Okay, here we go. Ooh, doing okay. Oh, still going good. Cool, okay, so what have I got on my person here? I've got a lot of things that sell for quite a lot of money. Alright, so I might go and sell those. Hmm. A spirit left behind by a small power can draw hidden abilities offered to a statue of power. Really? Hidden abilities? Statue of power, you say? Might have to do that at some point. Heck yes. Alright, fine. Oh look, we got one of the ah, oh, I've already got one of those dinosaurs. Right, can I pick up some of this stuff? Oh, I'm right on the cusp of being over encumbered. That'll do me. And it's a case of doing that backwards and forwards. Okay, chums, well I've got two of the um, breeding part parts. I've got five incubators. I've got two ranches, one this side, and one all the way over at the beachfront. I've got one sort of oasis pool there. I've got loads of beds. It's coming along quite freaking fine and dandy. And I haven't finished just deassembling my second base. So when I say my second base, that's my old base. It's all the way over here. And I'm planning to make another sort of resource gathering point, maybe to get the crystals that they need to make. Uh, oh, no, not this base, not this one. Uh, it's the That's the one I'm keeping. That's my other resource base. It's this one that I want to disassemble. And then I want to make a quartz farm at some point, people. So I'm going to be looking for a decent quartz area. Oh my god, look how many... Why is, why is this not being carried to chests? That's insane. Okay, right, well I've got a lot to take apart here. And the reason being is, look, they get stuck everywhere at this place. It, it, it sucks. Hopefully in this big empty beach they're not going to get stuck in places like they're getting right now. Right, eh? Well, let's, um, let's go into disassembly mode then. Let's disassemble some of the nicer beds quickly. And we get the beds finished at my new base. Okay, now it's saying there that I've only got 11 beds. So to solve that problem, what I'm going to do is just take away some of the pals rather than some of the beds. And relocate the pals to my um, new farm. Okay, so I'll have you. I guess. And I'll give me some cotton candies. I'll take that bee to get some more honey. And we'll take the cow to get some more milk. You know what, I'll take a chicken as well. Which one's got... Oh, workaholic. Yes, we'll have you. Okay, there we go. 
now they're, they're not going to complain about not having enough beds because there's not enough pals. Ha ha! And then we can go back to my other base. I can put those pals in. And you know what? I, th I think that's probably a good place to stop in the way of, you know, showing you guys what I'm up to anyway. I'm going to carry on doing this on my own time, but it is a pain in the neck to move bases. So choosing your bases is paramount. And if you do want to have a breeding farm, I would suggest having a nice flat plateau. I am also thinking about maybe putting an electric harvester at this flat area so I can have some of the production benches for later game. I don't know. We will see. And it might be that I have to bring all my ores after they've been processed to here to actually then process it on the beds. I don't know. You might have to give it a think. Anyway, thank you for watching, people in the view of us. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.